Where does a phenomenon begin? I'm proud to take the ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket challenge for ALS. How does a movement start? This starts with one challenge. I am doing this in honor of Pete Frades. Pete Frades. With one name. Frades is swinging the bat today with an awful lot of confidence. As a hard charging outfielder, Pete Frades was the team captain at Boston College in 2007. That's a grand slam home run for Peter Frades. A lifelong Red Sox fan, his finest moment in baseball came in one at bat on his favorite field. Playing at Fenway is just you know, a dream come true for any kid growing up around here. I went 4 4, hit a home run uh, at Fenway. Four years after graduating, Frades was playing in a men's league in Boston in 2011 when he sensed something was wrong with his body. In March of 2012, after months of guessing, a neurologist delivered the news. And he looked straight at Pete and he said, honestly, I don't know how to tell a 27-year-old this. Pete, I believe you have ALS. I just started screaming, oh my God, my son's going to die. I've always kind of been a positive guy. For me, it was, okay, here's what we're dealing with, let's go to work. Pete made a choice. He would attack the disease. He would make a difference. He would make his fight matter. In March 2013, he earned an audience with the Food and Drug Administration in Washington with a simple goal, more attention and more action. I ask of you, Let's speed up the process. Let's work together. And let's get this disease a thing of the past. Thank you. You go in, you give these impassioned speeches. People are nodding. People are, tears are coming down their face. They get it. They come up to you afterwards. And you're wondering, OK, so, so what are you going to do about it? What is the action item? What is the goal? Some goals are more personal than others. On June 1st, 2013, Pete married Julie, who he'd met eight months before he was diagnosed. Mr. and Mrs. Peter Freitas. Now, almost entirely confined to a wheelchair, Pete walked her down the aisle. I just love him, and that's that. And Pete's always telling me, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm like, haven't we had the worst yet? Like, <laughs> this is it. OK, enough. Like, can it get better now? It's hard to just watch someone you love so much just <laughs> You know, their body is just failing, and there's really nothing I can do about it. There's nothing the doctors can do. Two and a half years after the diagnosis, Pete requires a full-time nurse for most daily activities. He uses a feeding tube to eat. He speaks through the use of a computer. And in September, he's due to be a father. Back in May, during one of the last times he was able to talk at all, he described that feeling. I can't imagine how happy I'm going to be with my own little baby. So, how did one man with one fight become the center of a social movement? Last month, one of Pete's friends introduced him to the Ice Bucket Challenge, where people are asked to dump a bucket of ice water over their heads and post the moment on social media. The point? To raise awareness and funds for a given charity. Pete couldn't do it himself, 
but he could ask others to do it for his charity and his cause, ALS. And this is all to raise awareness for ALS and Pete Fridays. Suddenly, athletes all over Boston were doing it. Uh, to support ALS and my friend Pete Fridays. Then, athletes across the country. Hi, I'm Sidney Crosby, and I accept Ice Bucket Challenge in support of all those with ALS, especially Pete Fridays. Then, teams. JT here. Celebrities. Over the head. Families. <laughs> Everybody. In less than a month, the challenge became a viral sensation and a fundraising engine. The irony is that while Pete Frady's challenged so many others, he never took the challenge himself. So, August 14th, in the perfect place on a perfect day, the outfield at Fenway, Pete Frady's did what he's asked so many others to do. You ready for this? <laughs> Pete Frady's and those who love him know the challenge goes on. But thanks to him, now so many others know it too. <laughs>